Hi, everybody. I am Lenny Lainez Vite, Bachelor of Networks and Computer Services, graduate of the School of Statistics and Informatics of Universidad Veracruzana. It is an honor to be with you today. The topic is confidentiality and integrity mechanisms for microservice communication. In the same way, I'd also like to name the co authors of the study the Master of Computer Science, Juan Carlos Perez Arriaga, and the Doctor of Artificial Intelligence, Javier Limon. This is the sequence to follow for the presentation. First, section one addresses the study details. In section two, the background and related work are presented. Then in section three, the systematic literature review is presented. And finally, in section four, the conclusion of the work, as well as the lines of research, is covered and future work are presented. Section one. The development of application-based set of microservices has been gaining more and more momentum in enterprise IT. Due to its low coupling or dependency on each other, flexibility and scalability gains. This type of software architecture solves the development and scalability problems that were presented in monolithic or service-oriented systems. However, the microservice architecture is relatable and new, so also new challenges arise in the development of application based on this type of architecture. The chains or pencil, as Soldani and Temporary defines them, appear in design, development, and operation stage of the application. Um, when interpreting an application in a microservice architecture, there are problems related to the communication of its systems, entities, or processes, highlighting confidentiality and integrity issues. Failure to address these issues could compromise the architecture's internal infrastructures. These issues related to confidentiality entail vulnerabilities, such as spoofing illegal access and repeat attacks. And regarding integrity, there are problems such as that interception, manipulation, and leakage, as mentioned in UETAL study. The literature presents a large number of solutions related to security for the communication of microservice based systems, but the fact that there isn't a research and compilation of the security methods that can address these problems makes it difficult for practitioners to adopt novel security related solutions. The objectives of the job can briefly not, noted as investigate, report, and classification of mechanisms to help reinforce the confidentiality, authentication, authenticity, integrity, and authorization in the communication of microservice based systems, and in the same way of the management of their access control at endpoints. endpoints. In the same way, the classification of mechanisms according to the characteristics of each security solution discovered and identify areas of, of opportunity for future research in the security for microservice communication. This type of architecture tends to be more susceptible since it requires opening more reports, exposing more rapids, and distributing the access control, thus exposing a more expensive attack surface, as mentioned in Ipetal study. Identify these problems in the communication of microservice-based system is important with designing security policies for the development and deployment of the software. It is crucial not to compromise assets and have value information that are generally exposed on endpoints and which tend to proliferate. The activation of the solution is extended to serve as a line of research and application in development projects that lack security frameworks in software, and the good academic and professional files can consult as a catalog of reference to get an environment secure in the integration of microservices during their deployment. Section two. During the communication of microservices, there are several security problems as can be seen in figure one. So it is necessary to strengthen the systems internally since in its network infrastructure, the service and data contained in the device connected to the network are usually very important by business and personal assets as mentioned by Cisco. 
As saw in the previous template, the taxonomy of microservice security issues by UETAL performs an analysis on their security vulnerabilities related to the communication of microservice-based systems, considering security problems in four aspects, container data permissions and network. The author's study addresses the security problems of microservice communication, machining resource and solution solutions, container protection, data security, permission security, and network security issues. Compared to our study, the solution exposed in the proposed catalog present different solution approach for the communication of microservice. But considering the principles and characteristics of information security, the state of the data according to the Macumber curve and extending the solution to be used. Jerigina Maguey mentions that the problems related to microservice security are multifaceted. So the authors present a microservice security taxonomy, breaking it down into six categories, hardware virtualization, cloud communication, service, and orchestration. His study placed microservice and their security in the broader context of SOA distributed systems. However, the study only considers the security of microservice communication for components deployment in containers. We are considering communication with other hardware components as well, as well as processes and entities. In contrast to our work, we include solutions focused on the protection of the communication of microservices, processes, and entities. Finally, Hanousa and Yahyoshi study aims to provide a useful guides for developers of recognizing rates in microservices and how this can be detected, mitigated, or prevented. The study addresses a systematic mapping to discover the main security threats in microservice, introduction and ontology that can serve as a guide for developers to learn about the threats to detect and security mechanisms to use. Proposing a general security ontology in the microservice architecture leaves research gaps about the parts of the software the developers must protect. As a result of this, the authors mentioned the need for studies that intervene in the security of microservices related to the protection of communication and its individual defense. Section three. Well, to guide the study, we follow a systematic literature review based on the guidelines for performing systematic reviews in software engineering proposed by Kirchham and Chartes. This includes planning the review, conduct the review, and data synthesis. As part of planning the review, the reason for performing the systematic literature review is to analyze solutions related to the principles and characteristics of information security in, co in conclusion with the second dimension of the Macumber Group concerning the communication of system entities and process building a microservice as systems with the purpose to catalog and expose the security methods discovered given their similarities. To guide the review, please research questions will define it. Question one, what security microservices are related to the confidentiality of communication in the microservice based systems? Question two, what communication mechanisms for communication integrity between microservices are reported in the literature? And question three, what communication protocols are used in the context of the microservice architecture? So the conducting the review considers carry, carrying out a serious strategy establishing keywords as shown in table one. To later formulate search strings for each research question, it was decided to carry out two research strings for the collection of studies. Science according to the research questions, the studies had to be based on three different approaches, confidentiality, integrity, and communication protocols. The search process for the systematic literature review was an automated search of conference proceedings and articles for information sources and databases. The sources of information consulted were Emerald, Science Direct, Springer Link, Editorial Wiley, Propest, ACM the Digital Library, IEEE Explorer Digital Library, and Google Scholar. For the selection of studies, as Kitchenham and Charter suggest, we establish a systematic search strategy with inclusion and exclusion criteria to identify the most relevant studies in the literature. 
Table two summarize the criteria applied in the systematic literature review. No exclusion filter is conserved first. Then for the first filter, the year of publication, the language and the type of publication were considered. In the second filter, it was considered uh, at least on worrying the title of the study matches a keyword by the search string in question. In the third filter, it was considered that the abstract or conclusion of the study answered some research question. And finally, in the fourth filter, a query reading was performed to verify the relevance of the study in our review. For the collection of studies, two, two searches were carried out on different dates. We carry out the collection of studies with the search strings in the format, format sheet. Information source and database, we replicated each search string in each sources and we applied the filtering stage of table two. The first collection was made in December 2019, where we identified 70 primary studies. To enrich the collection of studies, we carried out a second search in April 2020, managing to increase the collection to 28 studies in total. However, two more studies were found in October 2020, so they were also considered for our study, increasing the collection to 13 studies in total. Table three shows in details the process for the first collection of studies, where it is observed that the total number of selected studies is 23. However, sex studies were discarded due to the weak relationship to the existed towards any of the research question. Table four shows the process for the second collection of studies. The format of the table varies a bit since it was not possible to determine the exact frequency of the first and second filters because the series was with the same strings but compilation the keywords. For data extra extraction, meta-relation was used as a qualitative synthesis method. We use this method as it makes it possible to synthesize the resolving aggregating findings into categories, facilitating the grouping of findings according to common attributes or properties. The process for meta-relation is divided into three stages as mentioned in Hannes and Person, extract the findings, categorize the findings, and synthesis the findings, and synthesis categories, sorry. As mentioned in the first stage of meta aggregation, and the findings of the selected studies were extracted. Each finding was classified in a table and following properties were associated. The research question associated with the finding, the idea of the study that mentions the finding, the security model that can be associated with the finding to the determinate security concepts, the FAUSIA, the stride three taxonomy, the layer of the OC model that is provided security, the security concept as opposed to the stride three taxonomy, the security techniques associated with the protocol standard or implementation, and the name of the discovered algorithm protocol standard or implementation. Subsequently, we categorize each finding according to their related security property and their appearance frequency in the literature. It shows in table six, also, as can be seen, the mention of the solutions were presented in two types, solution proposed by the same authors and solution mentioned in their studies. Finally, we cataloged each finding given its nature, protocol, algorithm, standard, or implementation, in addition to categorizing the finding according to the second dimension of the Macomber group concerning the state in which data security is carried out, transmission and storage process, in figure two, you can see an example of the result of the catalog. The result of the frequency of the findings according to the abstraction of their nature can be seen in figure three, where it is observed that most of the findings were identified as implementation, while the result of the frequency of the findings in relation to the principles and characteristics of, of information security can be seen in figure four. Being able to see that the solution to respect the integrity in the communication of microservice is less than the other principles and characteristics of information security. 
The diagram in figure four shows the 71 findings identified in their frequency in the literature. We have the results according to their security property. And we also consider the existing relationships between the security concepts present by the findings. The synthesis of the findings is outlined in two color tones, blue and red, as there are two, top, are two classes. The first class are the methods proposed by the authors, identified by blue tones, while the second class are methods mentioned by the authors, identified by red tones. The grouping for the findings related to the concept of confidentiality involved for the most part at heterogeneous with other concepts of security. For this reason, their findings located in the center of the diagram are groupings related to the concept of confidentiality, while the findings that are the, on the edge of the diagram are groupings that are directly associated with their concept. Also, the relationship with other security concepts can exist and we make the distinction you see in the labels in the diagram. During the discussion of the findings, the lack of discussion of quality metrics of each study included in the systematic literature review was noted. Assisted by criteria aimed at question their veracity, performance, efficiency, among other critical properties. Therefore, it is proposed to address these issues of as future work and is discussed in the final part of the presentation. After having synthesized the findings through meta aggregation, it was possible to answer the research questions. In relation to question one, we found that all the solutions associated with the principle of confidentiality or with the information security characteristic, authenticity, authentication, or authorization. So, six algorithms were identified, highlighting the algorithm is SGX, which is used to provide a trusted uh, execution environment, since it protects memory regions, data, and encryption case. Also, six protocols, highlighting TLS, which was mentioned in X studies as a security solution for the protection of the communication channel, in addition to finding seven implementation based on TLS system. TLS, six standards highlighting JSON web token to control the authorization of service and resource within an application. Six implementations were very interesting security solutions were mentioned, for example, the parameterization based implementation, such as API gateway pro proxy based parameterization, ES Trust. Transport level parameterization, level based parameterization, and DPI based parameterization. In addition to two models for access control and 10 solutions classified as indistinct, within the category of indistinct, the type of findings fall on were of different kinds. Science tests were manifested as encoded or undecoded data, files with a list of characters and networks. This could be seen as any other random solution idea that is not distinguished as algorithm, protocol, standard, or implementation. Concerning question two, we identify 40 solutions related to information's integrity, where very interesting security solutions were mentioned, for example, the cap capabilities as a way of indicating actions that can be carried out through relationships between two subjects as a security measure for controlling access to cache memory or resource. In the context of, sec of security for microservice communication, microservice exchange information when they create a relationship to determine what, what actions can be carried out according to the identify of the microservice with which the connection was formed. Secondly, the implementation of smart contracts is also another security related solutions. These are programs that live and run on a blue shape backbone, written for the purpose of enforcing agreements between two parties in a decentralized and reliable environment without the control of a central authority. Finally, in response to question three, we identify four protocols to establish secure communication and same protocol oriented to the communication of systems. 
The findings include cryptography protocols such as DP Hellman and TLS, protocols for secure communication such as GRPC and WWE w security, communication and message protocols such as RESTful, Revit MQ, MQP, Seri MQ, Google Protobur Serializer, OPC Unified Architecture, Extendable Machine Connector, Pastry Protocol, and Pastry or Script as protocols for the discovery of service. Section four. With the help of the guidelines for performance systematic literature review in software engineering proposed by Keche Hamen Chartes and the meta aggregation process, we archived the objective of the study. We identify solutions related to the principal characteristics of information security. We group the solutions discovered by set on these properties, and we identify protocols and API construction patterns for the communication of systems, entities, and processes in a microservice architecture. In the same way, we identify lines of research for a reliable and secure deployment of an application based on a microservice architecture. The lines of research identified can be briefly noted as considering the McCumber Group extending the principles of information security with the attributes of authentication, authenticity, and authorization as a framework for building software around a microservice architecture. And through contributing to security of evaluation and auditing, uh, as aid to development security policies and determine education, training, and awareness requirements. Secondly, collection solutions oriented to the origin of the data by source, such as databases. It is crucial to approach them as a security complement for the integration of available deployment for the communication of system and other elements in a microservice architecture. And finally, for future work, as mentioned in threats to the reality of the study, we do not consider all the criteria from the guidelines for performing systematic literature reviews in software engineering proposed by Kitcheham in shortest. As we consider that the criterion for the quality, the quality of the papers to be not necessary for the study. However, as discussion including quality metrics of their studies is desirable to better assets, their veracity, performance, efficiency, among other critical properties. On the other hand, some selected studies on the systematic literature review mentioned complementary solution for the communication of microservice. These studies relate to availability, monitoring, and optimization of resource. Due to the close relationship with security for the communication of microservice, Monitoring complements some principles or information security and in the communication of microservice and interaction with other components and entities of the application. As monitoring aids to verify that the security attributes are pulping their function within the application and at the same time, it allows keeping under observation the behavior of the parts of the application. Likewise, the optimization of resource in the deployment of my application based on a microservice architecture is critical. Size depending on the security implementation in the architecture, the authors mostly agree on the problem of resource due to the security layers that the developers must implement to respect the principles and characteristics of security in the communication of entities and software components. Finally, it is important to stress that availability is crucial to deploy a complete amalgam of security in the communication of microservices. This is the bibliography of our presentation. And this will be it, everything. Thanks for your attention. Right, thank you very much uh, for your uh, very thorough presentation here. And uh, anybody has any questions? So I have just uh, one quick one here. How do you see uh, this fitting within um, blockchain? Like uh, from a blockchain point of view, how do you think uh, we can run something uh, over the uh, infrastructure that you have just laid out. 